Hello, my sweets, and welcome back to another episode of Baldur's Gate 3. Um, we are about to go, I take it, go talk to Kaga, right? Awesome. Through the stone door we go. Yeah, she's lost her mind. Okay, let's go talk to... Let me save first. Make sure this doesn't fuck up. I have something to ask. Please! I'm sorry. This is madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil, and I will cast out the rest. Okay. The Tree Father's words, spoken with a devil's forked tongue. Perhaps you don't know that Sylvanus spoke further. The parasite must be removed for new seed to grow. Yet behold, the parasite lives. She eats our food, drinks our water, then steals oh our most holy like idol. Elephants are in my house. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Tila is restless. Come, Koga. We took back the idol. Surely, do it. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, they're wrestling. <sighs> Children. Oh, great. I chose the one that you picked and I have to make a saving throw 15. Well, here goes nothing. Yeah, I botched that bad. I've heard enough. The devil remains until the rite is complete. The snake's hiss of approval reveals its intentions. Should the child struggle, it is poised to strike. Let's see. Mm. The snake is prepared to kill this child. Fair words. Child, take to the others word of my grace. Sif, Sif, Tila, to me. <laughs> it hurts. Thank you, Korga. Master Holsen will. Halsen isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Tila pierce it. Okay, what's wrong with you? I don't like you. Oh, my lord. Children. Calm down. Do you wish to talk to Shadowheart? Uh, oh. She has an exclamation. I see, yes. I know that look. You're wondering why I was in pain before. Let's just... Clear the air about that now. It's just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. Nothing to be concerned about. You're lying to me. It's nothing to do with the tadpoles, at least, in case your imagination is in danger of getting away from you. It's just something I have to live with. Quite a lot, if I'm being honest. But it always passes quickly, so I can manage. 
Mm, are you sure it's not connected? Positive. You can trust me on that. Okay. Mm. Uh, no. Alright, so I guess I should talk to Kaga then. Go on. Say it. You think I'm a monster? Uh, yeah. Only a monster would threaten a child. I know your kind from other circles. You see only villains and victims. A viper bears her fangs, defending her brood. I call her mother. You call her monster. No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the rite is resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. The Rite of Thorns. It is the Tree Father's gift that none come to harm. When we speak the final prayer, the great vine will sprout forth. The grove will be cloaked in bramble and thorn. No one enters, no one leaves. Sanctuary. You're Our crazy. Come into focus. The Rite of Thorns is a rare practice, outlawed in most circles, causing more harm than it eases. None of this can happen while outlanders infect us. Sylvanus demands that we choke them out. Mm. A disease of the flower must not reach the root. Pluck the petals, sever the branch if you must, but cut out the rot before it infects the whole of the wood. No. Teachings of the Tree Father. Do you agree? I told you to get out of my brain box. Mm -hmm. Words I heed to the letter to keep my brood safe. You showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to Sevlor. Offer to guide the outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the viper must strike. Can I kill her now? No. Damn it. The, the, the payoff, the payoff will be much more satisfying. Fine. Then it seems I must go talk to Zevlor. You will do more than speak. This tale ends but one way. With the Outlander Rot cleansed, and the Grove forever shrouded. Consider the Rite oh, of Thorns, a rare Hang on. plant Hang on. from illicit domains. Nope, she treads a very dangerous path. <sighs> Thinking back to your teachings, what are the right? Uh, no. Nature seeks balance, yet in Korga you see more shadow than light. There is more to Korga's tale. The Grove must hide her secrets. And the fact that the fact that she. Yeah, she's willing to do that to a child, like, mm, I have concerns. Let's see. My claw and tooth from root to thorn, the old oaks grove to wildlings sworn. 
You recognize the druids as elders of a circle. This place is a divine sanctuary. Let's see. So, mm -hmm. the reason why I told you not to attack her now mm -hmm. is because if you make the decision to attack her, mm -hmm. you have to kill them all. Ah. The whole druid grove. All of them. All the druids. Even the ones who disagree with her. Oh. Well, damn. So, that's why you don't want to do that. Because then you're effectively siding with the goblins. Oh, fine. This will all be over. The rituals almost looking finished. around to see where I should go next. We take Grove Law seriously by letting that child escape without consequence. We might as well have lain on the ground and let them trample us. So, you were told to talk to Nettie? Uh, let's see. I think that's the oh healer that's the in the inner sanctum okay oh my lord children This is in her sanctum, so Nettie should be here, right? Where? No, th this is the outer sanctum, darling. Oh. Follow me. Okay. In here. I'm not going in there just in case it triggers automatically. Oh, Nettie's in there. Didn't oh. Does that hurt? I see you. Just give me a moment. Is there anything I can do to help? A moment. This medicatrix. There. It's up to her now. Life or death. Now. What was it you needed? Mm. Looking for Nettie. You found her. But I still don't know what she can do for you. Mm. I was gonna say, should I not tell her about the mind flare? Come here, let's have a look at you. You seem healthy enough. A bit tired around the eyes, maybe. Mm -hmm. A tadpole. A mind flare tadpole. Can you help me? I... Uh, I'll do what I can. Come, follow me. I might be able to help. We need to be quick. This way. This one had the same problem as you. Attacked us in the woods together with some goblins. Oh. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. Seems so. K 
gave Master Halson a right start. It's why he joined the adventurers on their expedition. To find out what was happening. I pity you got me instead of him. He understands these things. Studied them. Still, we have options. You don't have to be here for this. No, I'll stay. I'd rather know exactly what you're up to. All right. Let's see what we can do. All right. Let's go, I'm of down. Course. Now, tell me what's been happening. Any symptoms? Strange events? Mm. Victims can identify each other. Not that the others know they're victims, of course. How'd you pick up the parasite? Halson was desperate to find where all this was happening. On a mind flare ship. A mind flare ship? But Master Halson was sure. Look, you've been straight with me, so I'll be straight with you. You're dangerous. If you Good transform Lord, here, we're all dead. But you seem like a good soul. You deserve a chance to save yourself. Uh, it's the children they're playing, and this of course, no one in my house knows voice. volume control, so. Swear to me, you'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. Hmm. Wait. Poison? Why do they. Why do I have to take poison? Hmm. <laughs> If anything happens. <laughs> mm. Okay, fine. I hope it doesn't come to that, but thank you. Here. You know, I've spent my life treating folk and never once saw a mind flare infection. Then suddenly, there's dozens of you. Maybe more. Master Halson and I were tracking them, studying them, trying to figure out what the hells was going on. Because you should all be changing. There should be a small army of mind flayers out there. But you're not. Weird powers aside, you seem perfectly normal. What do you mean, should be? Mind flayers reproduce by infecting someone with their parasite. Seven gruesome days later, the victim transforms and a new mind flayer is born. The thing in your skull, though? It's different to anything in our records. It's one of their worms, for sure. But this one gives you powers. Telepathic connections. And it doesn't turn you into one of them. Not yet, anyhow. Mm. Hard to say, but there's a lot we don't know. Infected, folks like you, have been converging on an old temple of Saluna. And I've no idea why. When Master Halson heard the adventurers were heading that way, he saw a chance to get answers. Joined on the spot. Whatever he found there, he didn't make it back. What do you want me to do? The thing is, I've sent birds to find him. But the place is rotten with goblins. None of us can even get close. You, though, you're one of them. Technically speaking, I mean. They won't kill someone carrying their parasite. If you can find Halson and get him out of there, we can discover what he learned. And perhaps he can save your life. How's that sound? Mm. Thank you. It would mean everything to the Grove. To me. I wish I could tell you more. But only those adventurers know what happened out there. Hmm. All I can say for sure is they all went to the old temple of Saluna. And Master Halson didn't make it back. Good luck out there. And if things start to go bad, remember the vial. Remember your oath. Take one step at 
Okay. So that's a thing. Alright. Did Next you time. have a fun chat? Mm, yeah, sure. Um, ask the goblin priestess for help and rescue Halson. Yes, we also have to investigate Hogger. Investigate. Not again. Investigate Hogger. Something is wrong. So probably sh I should talk to her again? No. They want you to investigate within the pool. Mm. Something about her. I don't know. Well, I know that. But yes, um, that's some that's something you can I can I can I can help you with later. Right. Um, what do you wish to do now? Hmm. Let's see. Okay, I guess continue traveling with Astarian. We're doing that already. Um, continue traveling with Shadowheart. What are you doing? Can I see what else we can do? Yes, I'm just going out of the stone door because um, you rescued the child. Mm -hmm. So maybe you returned to the tieflings? I mean, that was going to be part of what I was going to do, but I was thinking of more. The simple, the simple answer is that inside that inside that room, there isn't much else you can do unless you want to talk to random birds. Mm. Now I'm going to go see the tieflings. Me like that again, and I'll feed you to a knoll. Mom, I'm fine. Stop it. Our little Hellion told us what happened. Thank you. Don't know what we'd do without her. You're welcome. Likewise, Arabella. Thank you. For helping me. Arabella is safe. Her parents are grateful for our intervention. It's my job too. The druids don't care about us. No one does. Kamira's locket. We Aww. have to look after ourselves. That's what Mole says. Grants it swear to the ability to cast dancing lights. Stupid and reckless. So, um, would you like a gift? Uh, sure. I'm gonna drop it in your inventory right now, okay? Okay. You are. A gift. Did you steal Nettie's gloves? Yes. Wow. What do you think I was doing while you were talking to Nettie? I don't know. I can't keep up with you all the time. I stayed, I stayed in the room that we were originally in, and I took everything that wasn't nailed down. Hmm. I guess we should go to the goblin camp now? Um, sort of. Uh, we're investigating Kaga at the moment, and um, there is something about that that we can discover. Okay. But for now, I'm going to go and speak to this merchant and sell, sell everything out. Mm -hmm. 
my lord, children. Now. I'm gonna go talk to Auntie Ethel and go sell stuff to her. Hello, Petal. Need anything? Any lotions or potions? Mm. Hey, bother. Anyway. No, sweetie. Thank you, Auntie Ethel. Anything else? Nope. I don't need anything. So we're supposed to be investigating Kaga. How in the sandy hell would I go about doing that? Would you like to follow me? Yes. Okay. We're going to the entrance and leaving the world. But um, before we do that, mm -hmm. um, there is one thing I would suggest. What? It's about time we take a long rest. Which means we're going to camp. Where? Right here? The camp one. Yeah. It's, you can just do it anywhere. Go to the camp and resting menu in the far right. And, mm -hmm. um... Go to camp? Long rest. There's a Starian. Can I talk to people? Yes. Yay. If they're purple. Uh, you, you right, if they're purple doesn't mean I can't talk to them. Huh? Uh purple means they're members of your party, not that you can Oh, okay. Unless, yeah. unless you mean that person right in front of you that's purple, in which case that's me. No. No, you, you can you can talk to anyone you want. Um, specifically, if you see anyone with an exclamation over their head, they actually have something to say to you. Mm -hmm. Also, um, you may notice... Um, where I currently am, there's two traveler's chests. The orange one is yours, and the green one is mine. And the reason I can tell you this is because if I try to open the orange one, it says it belongs to someone else. Oh, okay. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay. Do you mind? It won't let me talk to him. Why won't it let me talk to him? Oh, that was weird. Can you untoggle the group mode? And see if that does it. Yeah, there you go. Now's not the time. No, he keeps saying now's not the time. Like I can't talk to him. Yeah, then then he just doesn't want to talk to you right now. It's fine. Um, he'll probably talk to you later. Right? It's not fine. <laughs> the blade of frontiers at your corner. Unless it's because he's in a party with me, which uh, I will find out by trying to talk to him myself. Mm -hmm. And if he just straight up says he won't talk to me. I take it you're talking about Astaria. Yes. Okay. Right. Let's see if you talk to me. Mm hmm Yes. Oh. Um so it's it's be it's because he's assigned to me. I told you assign him to me, but no, you knew what you were talking about. Now we're gonna go and we're gonna fix this because you will not mess up my romance with Astarian. That's just not gonna happen. I love you, but no, he's mine. <laughs> that didn't save. Hold, please. I need to redo this. Da 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 da. Apply. There we go. That's better. Now I can talk to him. Lovely. You again. He doesn't seem happy to talk to me. <laughs> I'm sad about it. You're barely mad. I know, but still. Oh, what's to tell? I'm a magistrate back in the city. It's all rather tedious. Nothing. Fine. Like your cat. My underwear. Why are you in your underwear? Put your clothes my back on, please. Me. I'm <laughs> relaxing in the camp with my, un with my underwear. I want to go talk to Will. Well met. Carlax fires raged in Baldur's Gate before she escaped to Avernus. As my source told it, and she was planning to return. One of the archdevil Zariel's own. Chaos incarnate, a devil with pure fire for a heart. I made my way to Avernus to stop her. She fled from my reach, even climbed aboard the Mind Flayer ship as it screeched through the hells. I followed in close pursuit. Hmm. I can't bear to imagine the lives Karlak might be taking, the damage she might be doing. Mm. A powerful friend with a keen interest in privacy. I'm sworn to say no more. If you say so. Let's move All on. All right. What else is on your mind? Mm. I've noticed your when eye. You're, when you're, 
What? A most vicious one, in fact. It's made from pure bloodstone, carved from the Galena Mountains just north of the Moon Sea. A reminder that sometimes blood must be shed and sacrifices must be made. Ah, but that story is reserved for lifetime friends and karma days. I respect that. All right, well. Anywho. All right, what were you saying? You know, no, no, just draw hit points, spell slots. Are you, are you ready to end the day? You've spoken to everyone? Mm. Yeah, everyone that we have, as far as I know. Okay. So oh, well, I didn't speak to Shadowheart, but it's okay. Oh, darling! I am coming to talk to you! That's gonna... quite a sign. The stars, I mean. I could take or leave your chin. Okay, sir. I will break you yet. Money not save. Uh, I have half a mind to go down there and be like. Oh, crap, I keep hitting my mic. That's probably gonna come through. You seem more relaxed. I am. I've been thinking, reflecting on what tomorrow might bring when we find the druid. Will he know how to bring the worm under control? Will this little adventure of ours be over? Oh my god, children. <laughs> what, will you miss me? Ooh, do I want to be sassy or no? Do you do you want me do you want me to voice an opinion? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? You've been to the hells and back, survived the crash, survived everything that's followed. I'm not easily impressed by people, but you're stronger than I gave you credit for. True, I am pretty impressive. <laughs> that's going too fast. That's going entirely too fast. Yes, it is. Cause I've, cause I have a feeling it's gonna be friends with benefits and not an actual romance. Aren't you just? Ooh, turn and walk away. Must to end the conversation. I know, but still. Are you feeling hmm? alright? Oh, um, I was leagues away. I just need to get some air. Clear my head. Darling, we're outside. We I'll have all see the you air later, I'm sure. Sleep tight. We're we're in the open air. You you have all the you you're fine. You're fine. Right. Now I talk to Will again. Tingle runs through your head and down to your feet. Ah, there it is. That shiver. Our little brain worms have made fast friends, it would seem. How do you feel? Mm. Surprisingly fine, in spite of it all. <laughs> Surprising is just the word, isn't it? Before the Elithid's unscheduled surgery, I'd felled hundreds of beasts and a fair few fiends. The tadpoles weakened me suppressed greater talents, but beyond that, I've showed no signs of turning. No nausea, no pain, not even a hot flash. That's lovely. Something special about us, at least about our tadpoles. Indeed. Perhaps the worm's vat was poisoned. Perhaps we're uncommonly fit. Or 
Perhaps the tadpoles are merely on holiday. Well, I like we you. We could conjecture all night. I suppose the why doesn't matter so much as the what next. And that answer is plain as the horns on a war devil's head. We get these things out. Let's get some rest. Dawn comes sooner than we think. I respect it. Will, I like you. Not enough to romance you, Will, but I like you. No, uh, would you like to talk to Shadowheart? No, because Shadowheart does have something to say. Yeah, and... Whatever it is, save it for now. Well, I can't talk to... I actually can't talk to Shadowheart, because... She... Anybody who's assigned to you, I can't talk to. Uh, well, I, I can talk to her. Would you like Would you like to advance the dialogue by watching me talk to her? Sure. I don't know if it'll let me, but yeah. You, 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 you get the ear symbol. Mm -hmm. The leader of the. What's on your mind? You must be pleased to have a clear path forward. The sooner we find the druid house in, the better. I can't wait to get rid of this thing in my head. Hmm. Head to Baldur's Gate. Someone's waiting for me. Who is it? Let a girl have some secrets. Was there anything else? Mm. The same. These parasites are proving suspiciously benign. But suppose I turn. What would you do? Maybe it's you. No, uh huh. Really? I'd just kill you. Anyway, get some rest. Try not to dream about tying me up. I lied, I don't like her. I don't think I like her. I don't I don't think I like her. Try not to dream about tying, <laughs> tying me up. up. <laughs> Listen, that was hilarious. You ready to go to bed? Yeah. Yes. Right. Yes. yes, I would like to go to bed. to choose camp supplies to the value of 40 but I believe there's an option just to click auto auto select full rest yep Astarian darling what are you doing they're suspicious Highly suspect. Yes. And now it is the morning again. Um, if you talk to them again, they won't say anything unusual, so you just click on leave camp. Okay. Where, whereupon that would be a good place to stop, I assume. Yes, it would. Alright, darlings. Um, as they have stated, that is where we'll stop this episode. Starring, I know you're up to something. I'm going to find out what it is. You ain't slick. <laughs> but thank you so much for joining me again, Huggy Ari. It's always fun when you get to join in on the shenanigans with me. Shenanigans, tomfoolery, insanity, and the like. But, and thank you so much, everyone, for watching. If you like what you saw, by all means, smash the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. And I'll catch you back here for more shenanigans and insanity. Uh, foreground insanity in the game and background insanity with the rest of my family who have no volume control. <laughs> Welcome to my life. <laughs> anyway, take care of yourselves. <laughs> okay, I love you. Bye-bye.